Good afternoon, guys. I just want to say to you guys, this world is not the same. Everything is going awire. People is getting confused. And there's something that brought to my attention about the word Corona. I saw it on WhatsApp, but um, I'm going to expound more on it. But before we do so, guys, let us have a word of prayer. Let us pray. Our loving God and our Father, we want to thank you, God, for today. As we're going to share your words to our friends and brethren out there, oh God, and other people out there, we pray, oh Lord, that you may empty everything that is unlikely from us. Forgive us of all our sins, fill us with your Holy Spirit, and let your name and your will be glorified now and forevermore, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, guys, as I said before, I just want to, something brought to my attention, I just want to share with you guys the word Corona. It was on WhatsApp, but that person just bring the word Corona out and says 666, but behind this word Corona, there's something more dangerous, something serious is about to come upon us. And God is telling us to share the word with others. And as I'm sharing it with myself, I'm sharing it to you guys. The word Corona, as we see, my wife is gonna put it out and explain to you more and more. My wife, Angeline, as she's gonna put out the word to you. So some of you, you probably have seen this already, but I just want to expand on this a little more, okay? Now the word Corona, C-O-R-O-N-A, you'll notice it is six letters that make up this word, right? So six letters, you have six here. Now this three, C is, the, is, the, is in the third place in the alphabet. You will notice here, A, B, C, one, two, three. C, three. O, let's look at O now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So O is the fifteenth place in the alphabet. Similarly, R, eighteenth place in the alphabet. O, fifteen again. N lies the fourteenth place of the alphabet. And A, is the first place of the alphabet so you we put number one now when you add up these six numbers 3 15 18 15 14 and 1 you get 66 and when you add up everything now you get 666 now we see my friends that satan has his agenda satan is part of this corona virus that's good that is affecting the entire world Life is not the same anymore, but Satan is behind all of this, okay? But God wants us to open our eyes, because the Bible tells us in the book of Revelation, let me share this with you, Revelation chapter 13 and verse 18 tells us about 666, and what does it say? And it says right here in Revelation 13 verse 18, it says, here is wisdom, let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and his number is six hundred three score and six okay now we are not saying that corona is the mark of the beast no okay we what we are saying to you is that satan six 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 this is satan's mark Right? God's perfect number is seven. Satan's number is six. Exactly. Right? So Satan has a part, has, a, has his agenda. Right? Satan has his agenda with this coronavirus. Right? And he has a plan. And that is why we have this coronavirus going around in our world today. And also people is fearing of yourself. They're fearing, oh, this coronavirus. And when you see the statistics, you will realize that this coronavirus is, is, is a man-made stuff. Although it's there, but it's scaring us to let us get fear. And let us see what the Bible says in Luke, in the book of Luke, Luke 21 verse 26. Read what the Bible says right there. In Luke 21 verse 26. And we know that and we see that there is a, 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 a agenda behind this coronavirus. And God is saying to us, we got to be wise. As in Matthew 24 says, God said, when you see all this time, you know that his coming is near. And God is pointing out to us. As my wife, read Matthew, I mean Luke 21 verse 26. You want to see what it says. 
Luke chapter 21 verse 26 says, Men's heart failing them for fear and for looking for those things which are upon the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And verse 28 says, And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth near. And as you see, God is saying, when we see all these things, because behind this coronavirus, they want a one world government. And as we read in Revelation 13, verse, verse 18, when the number of a man is 666, we know that it, when you read Daniel and Revelation, it combined to the papacy. And the, their, their agenda is to force man to worship. God says, if you love me, keep my commandments. It's simple. It's very simple. So they're using all these things as a test run to get us scared. That's when they're ready for the true agenda. People be running, ready to get it. And we got to be careful, brothers and sisters out there. We got to be careful. We got to know that God is God and it's him we have to worship. We cannot, there's no government can, can stop this crisis. God says, I am the way. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth and the light. No man cometh unto the Father, but through me. So my brothers and sisters out there and people who is going to see this video, please remember behind this coronavirus is putting us to scare to help us to take our mind off Jesus. Jesus says, they are going to do this. If you read uh, Matthew 24, you want to see that all these things is leading up to one world government, one world order. And I'm saying to my brothers and sisters out there, don't get scared, don't get fear. All we got to do, eat healthy, eat right, exercise, follow God's commandment, and repent of all our sins. Natural remedies. Eight natural remedies. Number one, nutrition. What you eat. Number two, exercise. And remember, nutrition is what we eat, what God's required from Genesis, the Edenic diet. Number two, exercise. E. Number three, W, water. We need lots of water, at least eight glasses of water to drink per day. Number four, S, sunlight. Number five, T, temperance. We need lots of sunlight, we need temperance. You can't eat, overeat, temperance. Number six, hair. We need to breathe here. We can't stay inside at home and don't go outside. We need to breathe here. We need sunshine, we need hair. Number seven, we need rest. You rest get our rest most of all we we keep god's sabbath day and rest on the seventh day sabbath but we need rest we need to sleep on time number eight we need to trust in god so these are the eight laws of health the eighth law of health eight the last one remember trust in god and jesus says when you do this we must we will be okay we will live forever in him but the government is putting a scared on us and please, we should trust in God. Remember, trust in God is the simplest thing. Nutrition, you see? Natural remedies to, 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 to overcome all this virus. They're not telling you the nutrition. They're telling you we need a vaccination. Be careful. Why forcing somebody against their will, my brothers and sisters, to get a vaccination? Think about these things. If you have a car, would you put water in the gas tank? No. If the car, the car came with a manual, the manual said the gas must be 91. Would you put 87 in it? No. If something is done wrong with your body, why put in something poisonous in your body to destroy your body? And your body is built with a natural immune system. We are human beings. We are social beings. And God wants us to socialize with each other. The government or the system is telling you, no, don't socialize with each other. You got to be careful. Yes, wash your hands. Be careful. Hygienic is good. So we are to follow the plan of God. I'm not saying to you all out there, please look at this word, the corona, it comes to 666. Behind this six is Satan, the papacy. This is not the mark of the beast. The mark of the beast is going to be national Sunday law. I repeat, the mark of the beast is going to be a national Sunday law, one day worship. And it's starting now, even in our country. Some of the, 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 the province, the, the, the mayors, they're calling to rest on Sunday. Why you can't rest on another day? And I'm telling you, my brothers and sisters, be wise out there. 
God is calling us. God is showing us the sign. This corona that came about is a sign for us as Christians to wake up. To keep God through Sabbath, which is Saturday. Not Sunday. And God is not forcing us to keep the Sabbath. God says, you love me. Keep my Sabbath. Keep my Sabbath. Keep my commandments. And if we have sinned in the past, you ask God to forgive you. And move on and serve the Lord. And he's not forcing none of us to serve him. My brothers and my sisters, other people out there, I'm telling you, God is saying to us, look to him, not to the government. Look to him, because he's coming soon. Look to him, he's coming soon. Look to him, he's coming soon. He says to us, we should wake up, because this is a time to wake us up. Now you got time to stay at your home, my brothers and sisters. Study the word of God. Study the Bible. In the, in the word of God is fullness of joy. Study the word of God and realize that the Bible is the only answer. God is the only answer for the world today. And Jesus is saying to us, look to him. Look to him. My wife, what do you have to say to my friend, the people out there? Well, in closing, I just want to say, please, my friends out there, don't be scared. Fear is of the devil. Yes. God is of love. Right? God has created us as social beings. We have, God has created us to interact with each other. This what's going on is of the devil, right? So my brothers and sisters, don't be scared, right? Let's take the precautions. Don't be scared. Let's remember what the word of God says. When we see all these things, we must look up for our redemption joy at night. And I'm saying to one and all again, these are the last days. These are the last days. Let us, let us, Look to Jesus. Look to Jesus. Because there's no other way for us than to trust and obey. And I says, by God's grace, eat healthy. Don't eat the food that is not of God. You read Genesis when God made Adam and Eve. He gave them the natural, the natural Edenic diet. Let us go back to our fruits, our grains, and our vegetables. Doctors are not telling you that. Because many of these doctors, my brothers and sisters, they do not study nutrition. Yes. And nutrition is the things that heal the coronavirus. When you feed the immune system, God designed your immune system to build. Please, love you guys. Love you guys. God bless you. Marinata, see you soon.